Here's the signatures here. There's uh, Pryor's, uh, that's what he wrote in there. There's another one here. Priceless pieces of Canadian history. And like any part of our heritage, if it's not maintained, it's lost. Half of this aircraft is unrestored. On this side of the aircraft, it's been perfectly restored. This looks like a Lancaster over here. Mm -hmm. Yes. The Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum says the gears of historic aircraft restoration are turning again with COVID-19 restrictions waning. Many of the aircraft in the hangar here still fly, but it takes a lot of time, money and effort to make each one airworthy again. This plane, a Grumman Avenger, built during World War II. Did you want to get inside this one as well? Or? We can go in. I think as long as the doors are unlocked. Sure. There you go. Oh, cool. Let's go. Over 100 of these were flown by Canadians while they were in service. The museum is spending nearly 13 years restoring this one, work that was nearly complete when the pandemic struck. It was basically ready to fly pre-COVID. Uh, they had done some taxi runs and everything like that. And of course, we were closed for uh, quite a bit of time, which didn't allow them to complete the project. We're definitely on track to have it flying this year. That's got to be really exciting. It, it is, yeah. It was. First of all, it's extremely frustrating for the crew because they work so hard and it's like it's ready. And then another delay and another delay. When a plane like like this has its restoration put on pause, is it easy to just pick that project back up? Uh, typically, it's, it's pretty easy. I, I think sometimes the most difficult thing is where do we put that particular part? Meanwhile, just steps away. This uh, particular aircraft here, uh, just the background that this, this aircraft has. A truly extraordinary project is also being revived. Bill Craig, deputy chief pilot at the museum, taking us inside this DC-3 transport. One of its missions, dropping British paratroopers into the Battle of Normandy on D-Day. After the war, the plane was retrofitted for other uses. A new interior installed to help insulate passengers from the cold air outside. Yeah, all this was covered. So when they ripped all that out, that's when we found out that we had these signatures on it. One of those signatures identified as Stanley Pryor, a casualty of the war being flown back to the UK. These DC-3s, when they were carrying casualties, they had uh, three layers of uh, shelves here, basically, with stretchers on them. And he obviously was in this area here, and with a pencil he wrote in here his name and this information here, where he, where he lived. If I'm understanding right, he would have been laying in a stretcher right about here, facing the ceiling, and then written yeah. on the ceiling right there. I just there. took a pencil yeah. and just wrote in there. A volunteer at the museum was then able to track down Mr. Pryor's living granddaughter named Jenny, with work underway to bring her here to see the discovery for herself later this year. It's going to be an exciting trip. At the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum in Hamilton, David Zura, City News.